criminal investigators to the witness stand today to lay out the evidence they collected accusing Stanley Donahue of attempted murder of a Lane County Sheriff's deputy. It is the third day of testimony as Donahue also faces charges in connection with an armed robbery at a convenience store in Coggin back in 2021. On June 20th of that year, Donahue allegedly robbed this Casey store, forcing two store clerks into the cooler. Prosecutors say he shot Deputy Will Halverson several times as Halverson was the first to arrive at the scene. KCRG TV 9's Libby Randall joins us now live with details of what the jury saw and heard today. Prosecutors focused a lot on today's testimony on one of the guns found in the van deputies say Donahue drove away from that scene. Lynn County Detective Sergeant Sean Ireland says he collected several pieces of evidence from both the Casey's convenience store and from Donahue's van. Detective Ireland also demonstrated how to load one of the guns that was found. He told the jury DNA evidence can be found on multiple spots on a gun, but it doesn't always provide enough evidence to identify someone. Fingerprints are easy to wipe off. It doesn't take very much. There's they're just a, like 98% water and 2% oils, fats, and different uh, secretions from your body. Um, and so they're, they're kind of like snowflakes where uh, they're easy to disappear. And so the more it's uh, moved and touched and rubbed and used, uh, fingerprints often fall away. Tara Scott, a criminalist with the state's crime lab, also took the stand today to testify about DNA evidence. One of the many items she tested in this case included that gun. She testified that she swabbed several areas of the gun, including the grip and the trigger. I just took a sample from each set of the swabs and ran them for DNA. Um, and this for the Glock, the grip swab um, and the slide swab were both too weak for conclusive interpretation and there was no profile developed from the trigger swab. She also tested a face mask that was found in the van but says she wasn't able to find a match. Much of today's testimony centered on the search for DNA at the scene of the crime and at the location where Donahue's van crashed after being chased by sheriff's deputies that night. Any DNA matches to Donahue are important to the prosecutor's case. This trial is expected to wrap up this week. If Donahue is convicted of all 10 charges he's facing, he would get up to 112 years in prison. Live in the studio, Libby Randall, KCRG TV 9 News. All right, thank you.